What's up guys, it's Chris here. I've been putting this video off for a while, but I think it's about that time to make another OMI video. Right now we're seeing a little pump in OMI and I wanna talk about exactly why I think we are pumping. Uh, talk about a few of the things that's happened over like this week and the last few weeks and kind of the direction that the coin's going. Obviously, I can't cover everything in this one video because it's just too much to talk about. I've been interviewing people weekly. We've been talking about OMI, VB collectibles, and a lot of other coins. So if you're watching this video for the first time and you want to learn more about OMI, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithms. It'd mean a lot to me. So let's get right into it. All right, for so those of you that have been invested in OMI or even before this point in March, you see a big jump up to one cent. Uh, before that, we kind of went from like the 0 0.0023 range, which I think is around the range where I first bought in. And we had a really big pump in March. I have a ton of videos on that, so you can go back and watch those. But then we had a drawback of about 70%, which was pretty massive. After that, we stayed around the 0 0.0030 mark, and we're kind of working our way back up. You see that the last seven days, we have like a 12% increase. We're at the 0 0.0043, which we haven't seen in a while. I see a lot of the TA guys really, you know, talking highly about this. In this video specifically, I'm going to go over some of the fundamentals and news on why I think this is rising. But more importantly, at the end of the video, I have something that is more important than I believe any of this. So on Tom Bilyeu's channel, he has over 2 million subscribers and he just did an interview with Anthony Pompliano and this is what they had to say. Something ephemeral to just drive right. this point home. Have you ever looked at a VV vault? VV vault? No. Yeah. What is okay, that? Okay, this is so crazy. So Vivi is a collectibles company that's okay. partnered with like DC, Marvel to okay. do, but their their NFTs look like actual collectibles. So it looks like a toy, it looks like a statue, like it it's they're going out of their way to sort of literally just digitize the collectibles okay. industry. But their brilliant move, and I'm still dazzled by this, is that they gave their users the ability to create these. It, they've made it right now. I'm sure future iterations won't, but it looks like a vault. So you're going through a vault door, and then you're on the inside. But it's just a virtual space for you to put, display all the things you've collected. Around the same time of Anthony Pompliano saying that about Vivi, we had this article released about from Coin Bureau that's actually really solid. It's how and where to buy OMI and be ready for the pump. It basically just talks about NFTs, the OMI token. I really recommend giving it a read. It does a better job than most articles and even like some YouTube videos I've seen on the coin and on the overview of Vivi. It even does pretty well at tokenomics, kind of nails it on the head. I'm sure some of it's copied and pasted, but it talks about the reserve wallet having 300 billion OMI that never enter circulation and talks about the uh, vv wallet as well it talks about the business development fund I, you know it just talks about the distribution of all the tokens it kind of you know has the token metrics on here talks about the switch to immutable uh it talks a little bit about how it's going to affect the coin how it's going to go from the go chain to the ethereum blockchain and on and on and then later it goes on how to buy which also if you're watching this video and you're not investing in omi I, I have videos on how to buy it as well from bitforex but they kind of offer several options here they offer uh, Gate.io, Ascendex, OKX, and Uniswap. So if you're interested in any of those and you have those, go give this article a read and use its resources because it's really good. All right, so all that news is great and it's gonna cause a pump and it's gonna allow more people to come buy tokens, which is going to make the price go up and hopefully it's gonna just keep on being adopted. However, as good of news as that is to me and to holders, this is something that could change everything. Again, I say could because there are a little bit of stipulations to it that I'll get into in a minute. We see Rice come on Telegram. I'm not on Telegram. I did validate this on Twitter just to make sure he actually said this, and I had several different people tell me that he did, and it was, I think, a day or two ago. I'll go ahead and read it. So basically, somebody was asking about the reserve wallet, which I have been harping about on Twitter, on the Discord, uh, all over the place because the reserve wallet's huge and there's lack of need for it. And Foster Hill has a very good video on it that you need to go and watch on just the reserve wallet. But anyways, Rye says, once we will migrate, we can consider the other options, but I really don't think people look at this the right way. We're literally burning hundreds of millions of tokens every week now. More than 13 billion are gone forever. With multiple drops per week, so many unannounced brands and new products hitting all the time, really won't take long to take a rip into that reserve wallet, especially when the Vverse opens up. I disagree. Uh, obviously, Rise is way smarter than me and knows way more. Um, unless there is, it's based on unannounced stuff, which doesn't give me security because I don't know it. He knows it. Um, the burns will take a long time because even though we've burned 13 billion so far, as OMI price continues to go up, our burns are going to be less and less. So, I mean, say the token doubles from it was at 
you know, when he posted this around 0.0030, it's even at 0 0.0060, which isn't that far out of the way, where then we burn now 7.5 billion instead of 13 billion. So we're really banking right now. Uh, there's a lot of things, but like from what he's saying right here in this first part is that the V-verse is going to have a lot more burns than we're seeing right now. And that maybe some of these brands that we're getting are going to have bigger and more massive drops. We do see that they're increasing the amount of drops per week, which is good for burns. But again, I can't really stress enough, and I don't, I'm don't. i probably going to get hate for this, how long it's going to take to burn through that uh, reserve wallet if the coin continues to go up. And I don't think people are taking that into factor. Again, Rice always obviously knows more than I do, and I hope that he's withholding some information that he's not allowed to let us know yet. And that's why he's saying that. But let's go into this next part because this validates what I think would be significant. I just don't know how it works with the tokenomics. And if you do know how it works with the tokenomics and you're you're somebody who's like developed a coin like this or something like that, uh, go ahead and drop it down in the comments because I'm trying my best and working with other people to try to understand how you can do this. But let's check it out. But we're also building, and I'll go ahead and put it over, but we're also building in mechanisms to start burning from the circulating supply um, instead of just a reserve wallet, which will have more of the impact that you're looking for short term. Okay, yes, um, that will have more impact short term. The big thing is the reserve wallet. Again, Foster Hilt has a video on this. I highly recommend you go watch it, but let's take a look at it. This is the reason we're not seeing burns affect the price of OMI because there's so much in the reserve wallet. There's 283 billion tokens in the reserve wallet. We've burned 13 billion at low prices with multiple drops a week. You, you start to see how long it's actually going to take. Again, unless the uh, V-verse, unless they do extra token burns and all that other stuff, you, you see how long it's going to take just at this rate if the coin continues to go up in value. We won't see a change in price until we actually see the burns affecting the circulating supply. Right now, they're only affecting the reserve wallet balance. So what Rise is saying is he wants to try to implement a way that skips over this balance and just burns directly out of the circulating supply, which would affect the price short term and I mean, would, it, would affect it long term as well. I think that's going to be great. I don't know how he's going to do it. My thoughts on it is back a few months ago, uh, again, Foster Hilt's video talks about this. Uh, Rice said that the whole point of this reserve wallet balance being so high is because they expected less holders. And if they had less holders, then they needed more liquidity, so they put more coins in this reserve wallet balance. Well, being as we have significantly more holders than expected, there's really no reason, and I believe as a plan since the beginning, just to slice this reserve wallet balance. Not completely get rid of it, but maybe take out 90% of it. That way we can kind of truck it through faster and then enter into burning the circulating supply faster. So I'm not really sure on what their purpose is on keeping this reserve wallet balance so high after the switch to immutable uh, if it's just not needed. So regardless of what happens with this, I'm hoping we can either do it reset and go directly into the circulating supply and burn from there, or that they're gonna cut or do something to this reserve wallet balance that's pretty high. And again, I just don't really understand the need for it. Guys, I really just wanted to keep the video like short, sweet, and to the point. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I've been doing a lot of live interviews lately. I really just enjoy talking to people about this because it stimulates more conversation and I learn more from it as well. So I've been doing a YouTube podcast and having people on just talking about OMI, talking about other coins like Hex, uh, and talking about just crypto and NFTs in general. If you're interested in that type of thing, again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think about all this, the news and the burns and the reserve wallet balance. Uh, how you think it's going to work and how you think Rice it plans on or the economy team plans on actually taking or burning out of directly the circulating supply. Give me your thoughts on it. Do you think this is a temporary pump right now and it's going to be dumped later? Or do you think it's going to keep on going up and to the right? Uh, I will disclose that I bought a lot more Oh My last week. So I'm definitely bullish on the whole project. You know, I hope this allows you to kind of give more information so you can understand the tokenomics a little bit better so you can kind of see which direction the token's heading. And I, I guess we'll all just see you together. Drop your thoughts in the comments. And I'll see you next time.